What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be playing a game called Dauntless. I've never played it before. I saw it on the Epic Games launcher and I figured I'd try it since it was uh, free. In about 25 days, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is coming out. And I'm really just kind of like trying to stretch time until then. And I got games lined up. Dauntless here is one of them. Thought I already hit play. What's happening? So yeah, uh, in this month we'll be playing here uh, Dauntless and uh, various other games. Stay tuned to see what those are. I'm going to be revisiting some games like Tekken 7. I have been playing a little bit of that offline. And uh, other games like The Crew 2 and stuff Straight like that. Down, you'll never take that behemoth down. I've recently started modding in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So that that's made it kind of interesting. I've already like um, played up to the part... I guess... I'm in the Android saga of Dragon Ball Z, so expect to see some more of that. All right, this is Dauntless. We just started here in this little area. I'm checking behind the starting area because, like Mario, when you first start to play uh, video games, or when I first started playing video games when I was young, I used to like to explore behind the starting point to see if there was like any hidden secrets or something. Because I just remember one game where there was a, like a hidden secret. I like the control so far. This is nice. Let's see what it is. Okay. Uh, Spacebar is not jump. It's roll. E. I just gathered some dash leaf. Left shift is sprint. Can I climb up this? Yeah. So we're gonna be we're gonna be exploring different virtual dimensions and environments for the next month or so. Then Call of Duty Mor Modern Warfare 2 will come out, and then after that. We'll probably play that pretty hard for like a month or so sure until the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, World of Warcraft Dragonflight comes out. So yeah, we, we got a, we got a pretty solid schedule for the next three months. I think while I'm trying these games out, you'll continue to see me just upload kind of like semi-regularly, kind of sporadically to the YouTube channel. I'll be uploading videos like this of me trying dif different games and stuff. But uh, when I go, space bar to dodge through attacks. Okay, yeah. When I get, when I go live, that'll be when the Call of Duty Modern Warfare drops. I was trying to listen to this guy. Okay, we're gonna focus on this game now. Let's do it. Just trying to give you guys an idea of my schedule, what we're going to be up to. For the next three months, you can expect content, though. I'm going to be uh, putting out live streams of Call of Duty and Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball Z, World of Warcraft. We're playing these games, like Dauntless and Dragon Ball Z and all that. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna focus here. I'm kind of rambling because it's so early for me. I just had some coffee. But, uh... Just chopped his tail off. Okay. Sprint. Spacebar is dodge. I can remember the dodge if he tries to do something fancy. That looks fancy, but it wasn't really directed at me. It looks like just left and right click spamming. Q? What is Q? Holding Q? Is that mine? Did I put that down? It seems like left click and right click are the same move. Like they both just swing the weapon combos. I don't know if there's a difference between the two. I tried to click and hold to see if it would wind up. It didn't seem to wind up and do any like extra heavy damage or anything. And then I was using that Q button, but it seemed like it relied on those three little bubbles up in the top left, the little blue bubble gauge to be filled. leading the way, we now explore and reclaim the rest of the Shattered Isles. We can't do it without friends. It's a time for heroes. It's a time to fight. It's a time for slayers. Now, let's see what kind of slayer you are. Let's see what kind of slayer we are. Yeah, it's crazy. Growing up, I always remember things like uh, the army recruitment uh, commercials. Like, be all that you can be in the army. Like, that type of stuff. And, uh... When I joined, that's what I thought it would be. 
but it ended up being more um being like an army of one be an army of one it's like uh that's no longer the narrative anymore guys we're not we're not trying to solo content now now it's like the never the 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 overall narrative seems to be pushing towards grouping grouping and doing group activities so yeah um that's the that's the boost though that's that's how you get the boost uh or how to speed up your success i would i would say is you just uh seem to just group up with other people and help push and propel each other to the top all right let's go about right here i need to stretch and squish this way do we want them to have like more of a honker or more of a flat face right like this right somewhere like this um right there ish you can make it less symmetrical gives them some quasimodo features just gonna throw that in a little bit just to mix it up a little bit okay eyeballs his eyes probably like right there depth i don't know i don't really want to do all this um iris about right we'll go bigger pupil bigger okay that's fine with me what kind of hairdos we got here we've got the ponytail like that that's almost like mine guys it's just like mine okay mine's more like this yeah, that's more like this or that no no probably more like this um no 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 what is this i don't know what that one is oh, okay yeah that's more like our hair right there let's go probably that or this i like the original i had i'll go with that one all right do we want his nose to be a different size uh i don't know man i think he looks fine i don't really let's bring his jaw in his jaw corners boom chin size L less more more chin size chin depth cheekbones all right i'm gonna finish this all right here we go the chain blades allows for maximum mobility during okay okay it's begun on a roach course to ramsey i'm sure you're eager to meet katsura after yes, all, I'm eager. She's the hero who saved Ramsgate back before the city even had a name. But nowadays, Cat's in charge of the city. Music's kind of loud. That means training only veteran slayers. Don't worry. I'll be handling your initial training myself. Meet me in the plaza after we talk. Okay. Main quests are marked with this on your compass, an exclamation mark or a question mark. Speak to characters. Was it? Okay. Hold space. It seems like this is a controller compatible. Like I could probably just use my little gamepad here. All right, we'll we'll stick with the mouse and keyboard. E. I knew you'd pull this off. The Slayer's Path. Bosun Marcus welcomes you to the Rams Gate. It's time to set your very own Slayer's Path. We'll get a hundred Rams for that. Main quest completed. The Slayer's Path. Press escape to open the Slayer's Path and begin forging your legend. Hunt behemoths to earn XP. Reach the Slayer's Milestone or Slayer's Path Milestone to unlock new islands, gear, upgrades, and hunt types. Adventure awaits. Okay, Holdy. Got a new target, Cap. Unlock potential. Bosun and Marcus suggest setting sail for the training grounds. Open the Slayer's Path and unlock the training grounds island. You can't very well begin your journey without a full set of weapons and a place to train. Now that you're on the path, you'll be welcome at the training grounds. 
Okay. Complete your conversation. Press escape. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll unlock the training grounds. I clicked to held, but uh, it was hold to eat to unlock as well. So this was just the training grounds. This is Emberthorn Cove. We can set a route to the silent grove of the Emberthorn Grove, unlocking islands to gain access to their resources and behem behemoths that dwell there. Requirements are combat merits. So it costs 10 and I have 60. And now I have 50 right here. Okay. All right. Uh, training grounds? No. Yeah. Training grounds. Hold escape. Unlock Ooh, potential. Got through in one piece. There now. Training or trainer Rosk will signal that the new recruits are ready to train. Well done. Um, Bozum suggests setting sail for the training grounds. Okay. Got some rewards there. Give him hell, skipper. You got you got another quest here. This won't wait. Okay. Accept. All right. Okay. Well, off you go then. It says, anytime you need to travel, just follow the compass icon to the hunt map. Interact with the hunt map and select training grounds. Trainer Rosk is in demand. Matchmaking for the training grounds may take a few moments. Okay. Let's go to the compass, which is do this direct. Oh, actually, it's this thing here. Training grounds there. Test out every weapon type. Experiment with new loadouts and measure your damage. Trainer Rosk runs the training grounds, helping new slayers get familiar with their weapons. Pick up one, uh, pick one up to view the weapons' controls and combos. To the training ground. Call the airship. All right. Go now. All right. This is pretty. So far, I, I'm excited about the animation. I like the way the controls feel. They feel pretty solid. I want to see what upgrading my gear and weapons looks like. Or even what the different weapon types are like. The boss fight was okay. It kind of reminded me of Lost Ark. But like uh, if Fortnite crossed with Lost Ark. Oh look we got combos. 